Okay, I'm here to talk about a new function that's going to be available in MarkEdit. Um, and that's going to be called the RDA Helper. Uh, the RDA Helper is a tool that's being created uh, specifically to help users um, ease the transition uh, between AACR2 and RDA, specifically as it relates to vendor data that may be presented in AACR2 um, for uh, legacy data, uh, specifically data that has been encoded in RDA but um, doesn't have uh, new fields or uh, newly authorized fields added to the, uh, the data resources, um, as well as public libraries who may still need to recapture that GMD data that's going to start be slowly but surely uh, being removed from, uh, from MARC records. So uh, the idea behind the releasing this tool is this is an in-developed in-development application. Um, the uh, go live date for for Library of Congress and a number of of libraries are targeting March 2013. I'm hoping that uh, by putting this out there now, um, there will be plenty of time for interested individuals to test, provide feedback, so that we can get a a tool that um, will provide a good um, basic uh, batch automated process for being able to um, RDAIs AACR2 content um, specifically in mass when necessary. So there are two places where you can find and utilize uh, the RDA helper. Uh, the first one is found in the tools menu. You'll find it here, RDA helper. It's a simple window um, that basically gives you the ability to turn on or off the creation of specific field data. So you'll see by default uh, the RDA helper um, tags the creation of the 336, 337, 338, uh, 344, 347, the 260, 264 evaluation looking for copyright data, um, the 380, 381, and um, it's checked to expand abbreviations. If you need to generate GMDs, you can either select that if that's the only thing you want to do. If all you want to do is generate GMDs, you can just select uh, select um, none and then just check the GMD option. Um, the GMD option will actually work for non-RDA data. Uh, essentially what it's doing is looking at coded field data to generate GMD information. So uh, potentially for libraries who um, go through the process of creating uh, GMDs in there by in batch for their data sets. This is another option for some kind of automated GMD generation. But anyways, let's talk about the RDA helper. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select all. And um, essentially what's going on is that the RDA helper will evaluate each record and it'll look for the presence of these specific fields. And if the field isn't present, it'll go ahead and evaluate the record and see if the data can be placed. Um, It'll also evaluate the 040 and the uh, leader, specifically position 18, to see if that information needs to be updated to fully represent that the data includes RDA coded data. Um, the 3, 36, 37, and 38 make use of the vocabularies that have been set aside for RDA. Um, the 380 for form of work makes use of a set of genre um, uh, content genre content uh, vocabularies that the Library of Congress has um, that matched really well for content in the 380. Um, this will be something that uh, I'll expand on, uh, but right now it looks through and evaluates uh, record data and can match approximately somewhere in the neighborhood of about 90 um, to 95 different um, content genre headings. So it's not going to be perfect, but I think right now it's, it's good enough to, to get out there. And, and the expanding abbreviations, um, the application evaluates um, a specific set of fields um, looking at some of the rules that, uh, and exceptions that are uh, available in the um, abbreviations. And uh, it's something I'm still testing um, and looking for people to try to make sure that those abbreviation expansions are happening like I think they should. Okay, so let's look at how this works. So this is the version of the RDA helper you would get if you ran it from the main program. Uh, you basically can select a file, and that file then, um, it can be processed directly uh, and converted into RDA. You can either convert uh, mnemonic files 
or non-mnemonic files. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and select uh, uh, mark file. And then I'm going to go ahead and set a destination file. And I don't have to set it as a mark file. I can set it as a non-mark file. So in this case, I'm going to set it as a mnemonic file so I can just read it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just process that data. And so the process goes and runs. It says it's completed. And I can go ahead and look at that record set now. Now this record set had some RDA data already in it. Um, what this specifically was doing is it's evaluating all of the data that's in this record. Um, and this, these are records that have been given to me by um, the University of Oregon uh, to do some testing with. Uh, these records included um, a 336, 337, and 338. And as part of this process, um, the application went through and it evaluated these records. And it did evaluation on the 260. Um, it evaluated the 040, the LDR. It added a, a 380. And if we look through um, other records, we'll see, uh, for example, here, you can see that the 264 has been broken up where copyright has been um, initiated. These used to be together. Um, that's been pulled out and put into a 264. Um, so that's been appropriately set. Um, so it's a, uh, and you'll see here that the 380 identifies as a bibliography. So anyways, um, the tool does a number of things. It tries to do a number of things for you. Um, you can run the tool from within the Mark Editor itself. If you click on Tools and RDA Helper, uh, you get the same screen, just minus the need to select um, a set of files because you're working within the editor. And you can do essentially the, exactly the same thing. Um, in this case, I'm going to tell it to go ahead and generate GMD data. And when I run it, it goes ahead and processes the data. And if I look at these records now, these records have no GMDs because, or had no GMDs because these are RDA compliant records. Well, now I've actually went through and reinserted. So you'll see here in the 245, uh, sound recording has been inserted as a GMD into the 245. So um, I can actually use the tool to go back and insert um, GMD if necessary. Okay, so this is an in-developed applica in development application. Um, I expect to be doing a lot of work on it uh, between now and March. Actually, hopefully between now and say maybe January or February with it pretty much getting locked down before uh, March rolls around. Um, but I want to put this out there for people to go ahead and try and start uh, getting some feedback. And hopefully it will be helpful. Uh, that's, that's basically the idea. So um, thank you.